name's Paul Weaver and I handcraft classical guitars in Oregon. I'm really focused on using only hand tools to craft classical guitars that are really tailored to a specific guitarist's wishes. The hand tool process is a lot slower, and probably takes about one month per guitar, but I enjoy almost every aspect of it. I think for me, uh, a really intriguing part of guitar making is the top, because no single part of the guitar has more influence on the sound than the top. There are many different bracing patterns, and each one interacts with the wood in a different way. And trying to learn that is, is very difficult. And even in this modern age with science and uh, wonderful machinery, there's still much that's just left to intuition and experience. The secret to building great guitars lies hidden in the fingertips. I've been making guitars since 2005. I can't really remember when the idea came to me, but I do know that by the age of 18, I was already dreaming of it. I think that using hand tools um, is just, it just feels very natural to me. It's something that um, never seemed like a question. It was just always the solution. I'm going to build guitars using hand tools. And, you know, each maker finds his own process, and there are as many ways to build a guitar as there are luthiers. But focusing my process on hand tools has really brought me closer to wood, and it's really been a very important part of finding a deep personal satisfaction in what I do. Guitar makers really focus on what are called tone woods, and um, those are woods that have musical properties, and you kind of tap it, you flex it, you feel it, and it sounds musical. It's varied. There are different harmonic tones. It has bass notes, it has middle notes, and it has an upper range. You can also look for wood that's quick, have a fast sound, or that's slow and full. In the beginning, it's quite difficult to be able to take wood and really know how it's going to sound. But as the years have gone by, I've been able to get to know spruce and cedar, rosewood, and I've been able to create kind of a general category of where they'd be in. The wonderful thing about using hand tools is that it really allows me to get to know each individual piece of wood. And while certain species have a general sound quality to them, there's so much variation between even two pieces of wood that are from the same log that it's very vital to develop the skills and the knowledge to be able to take a piece of wood and feel it and flex it and know how it should be thicknessed and braced to get the best sound out of it. It's allowed me to take some unusual woods, redwood, organ myrtle back and sides, and a curly maple neck, which create a really very striking visual classical guitar, and yet it still sounds pretty standard. Classical guitars have a long and strong tradition of being French polished. And French polishing is really just a special way of applying shellac. And it's done with a pad. You put a little bit of shellac and alcohol on a little pad, and you rub it over the guitar. And this allows a slow, thin, even development of the shellac on the guitar that will not inhibit the acoustic properties, will protect it from humidity, and also yields an unequaled depth and clarity to the wood. Working with metal is much more difficult than working with wood. It's not forgiving and it's not soft. So there's a lot of filing and polishing that takes time, uh, especially you know, when you're talking you know, 20 frets. It doesn't matter how good a guitar sounds if it's not playable. I get a lot of inspiration from seeing the work of other guitar makers and also meeting and talking with them. Living in the Pacific Northwest has really allowed me ample opportunity to do both of those. And one of the greatest opportunities I've had is to be able to have lessons or consultations with Jeffrey Elliott and Cindy Burton. Seeing the immaculate work has been very inspirational to me. And I'm very grateful and happy that I was able to take a passionate hobby and turn it into a meaningful career. To be ever learning, ever striving is my personal goal and I'm deeply grateful to pursue it through this traditional art. 
I hope that each one of my guitars will please your eyes, hands, and ears. <laughs>